Good morning, people from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Enjoy here. After a long time, today is going to be a morning thoughts episode with my trusted coffee. So today's morning, my scent of the morning is Creed's Milsim Imperial 2008. My sort of like a older batch, beautiful spring, beautiful. Um, and uh, I'm just rocking this right two on the neck. Uh, today, uh, I kind of decided not to go for morning walk because last 10 days or so has been very like uh, hectic for me, running around for work and everything, as well as, uh, you know, I just putting too much, I'm just putting too much pressure on myself. So today I decided it's a weekend in Bangladesh, Friday, just going to take like a seven to eight hour nap, not nap, sleep, proper sleep, woke up properly, nicely, I'm going to go for that afternoon walk instead today, okay? So... I just want to talk about few few stuff in the early morning, random stuff basically. So first of all, yesterday I dared to do uh, that video that I knew is gonna get some, uh, I mean, talk because uh, I'm not usually the niche dude. You see, from time to time, few niche fragrances I review, and a uh, lot more samples, a lot more sample reviews than uh, full bottle reviews. The reason behind that is very obvious, isn't it? Like. Uh, First of all, you guys know I do, do this from my own hobby and I buy my fragrances. I'm not saying people don't, people do also, but uh, given that this is what I do, I mean, I have a small decan page. That's the only thing that I'm doing for the time being. So whatever I'm making from there, I'm just investing in bottles and mostly by designer bottles because uh, here's the thing, guys, okay? Uh, why am I more focusing on designer Arabic houses? Main reason behind it is I don't follow the hype or I don't feel the necessity to follow people to earn respect. I do my own thing. Yes, I of course take note for what people telling me, Joy, take a look at this. If it suits my taste or let's say it's available within my targeted budget or let's say I think something is worthy of paying because I cannot buy everything. Of just simple as that. Like to review something, you know, for the samples I also get. Let me tell you a few things, share a few things with you guys today. See that sample pack that I have here, like a lot of samples in there, a lot of uh, designer niche like Le Labos, and the Shooting Star Neo, Zhirjov, Tom Ford, a lot of these samples, you know, I have a lot more other samples, official samples, I buy them, okay, I do not get them for free, so even samples are pricey here because samples, they sellers, they sell it here, they do not bring it to you and give it to you for free. So basically what happens is, for me, yeah, this is how I see it. You, you have to experience the fragrance, you have to have the craving for it, even if you cannot buy everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. And of course, as I told you, not everybody can buy everything, all the fragrance in the world. Okay, that is so obvious. So, if let's say, for example, I'm about to do this Pure Access perfume, okay, for women. This lovely bottle of this fragrance is going to cost me at least at least 65 to $70 because uh, women's perfumes are a little bit more pricey. So I bought that sample so I can taste it, you know, like uh, get a taste of it. Let's say 2 ml, 1.5 ml. See, that's the thing. That's the thing that you need. According to uh, my understanding, you have to have the taste and love for fragrances. It not necessarily, I, I understand sometimes people feel frustrated. Two kind of people there. One kind of people are getting frustrated if you just do reviews. I saw fragrance view. He reviews a lot more samples than full bottles. He doesn't have so many bottles. I have about, I had about 700 plus bottles that I reduced a little bit by about 100 bottles now, but I still have a lot of bottles here. I bought, I went crazy uh, for the page also, I added a lot of bottles, but I didn't have to buy so many bottles. I did, uh, I have made a list before, I had made a list before, like let's say 1 million line, I had Pakuraban House, Versace, I collected everything I wanted to collect. Now about from my 100 that I wanted, hundreds, I have almost like 95 percent fragrance that i wanted so that's what i want to finish like you know uh, my basics first designers first all the houses that are like you know providing fragrances uh, from designer let's say versace versace manu fresh versace man a dreamer versace porom uh, oud noir i have certain collection from versace that are available in the market i got them all that i wanted so right now i can focus on the next house so that's how i go like let's say i'm experiencing house even by samples MFK house, right? So MFK house, I try to buy as many samples as possible because these are bloody expensive fragrances and uh, I don't want to mind that. Uh, but at this moment, perhaps I could review maybe 10 fragrances for the price of one MFK. So that's what I focused on. I want to put more content out there to help people, okay? And I'm not sponsored by anybody, right? So that becomes a little bit 
difficult task you know like buying fragrance for your page for your own interest and which ones to buy which ones to you know review gonna get views keeping everything in mind it becomes a little bit challenging so yes <clears throat> in the end what i'm trying to say is uh i have the taste for it and even for the niche fragrances i do not own as many niches as all the reviewers out there and i do not feel that i am obliged to because you do what you want to do you know what makes you happy if you want to be a crowd pleaser and people pleaser all the time you're not going to enjoy your own time and another thing is i just want to say out there you know i'm not doing this for commercial uh, purposes like i'm not bringing women here i'm not trying to get up get a setup people tell me like improve your setup and everything because you're doing this for professional no this reviews i'm doing it for my out of my own hobby you know and uh, i like to keep it simple that's how my vision works so if people are hitting dislikes and everything yesterday i saw a comment why so many dislikes it's normal at first i used to get very frustrated but i think it's part and parcel of this whole line people will give their honest opinion frank opinion let's say for example creed aventus didn't make the top five top ten even people will feel frustrated because there are a lot of aventus uh, lovers like aventer aventus uh, fanboys out there so they will naturally feel you know like they will say you don't understand anything about aventus so <laughs> The thing is, you know, it's not about understanding, it's about how I like things, okay? This is my personal choice to differ from people out there. You, to me, it will be different. I would like to say Kuros, you will like Lanui Delon. You know, people have different tastes, but it doesn't matter. That's the beauty of the game. Someone will think some fragrance a masterpiece. Uh, let's say this one. I feel it's a very awesome fragrance, but it's not definitely for all Gucci Guilty Absolute. So doesn't mean that that's a bad fragrance or a good fragrance. It, it's all about, you know, what you like, what you prefer. So I just wanted to put that list out there just for fun. I do not have so many niche fragrances and a lot more samples, but I did buy those samples and I test them. I know how they smell. Okay. So that's another thing. The next thing I want to say is like, uh, in general, not just fragrances, you know. I was talking to Chad yesterday, he sent me this nice little message, like he doesn't watch my videos that much anymore because he's very busy. So he sent me like, hey Joy, what's up, how are you doing bro, and blah blah. He so, wrote a lot of things, okay. <clears throat> and he's like checking on me, he's like one of my older friends in the community, elder brother. He's one of the reasons why I am doing okay in the fragrance community. I got a lot of help and push from this guy, you know. I'm always grateful to Chad, you know, a gentleman's journey. He's married to a wonderful woman who's really really supportive and beautiful person as well uh, so they are together they're very wonder awesome couple so you know like always love watching their reviews and her take you know they're together they look very happy and cute so he told me like hey bro how are you doing he just sent me a fan message but at the same time you know, i told him something like i stopped watching certain reviewers you know just it's gonna be a little bit you know you know it doesn't matter i stop watching or watch but sometimes when i feel you know reviewer is not being honest and they're just doing it because they have to do videos you know i kind of lose it and i am more interested in fragrance than watching women you know uh showing this and that you know these are all for kids probably it's not for me and so i stop watching some reviews i don't find interest if i'm not understanding it's just like i can see it's just a brand new fragrance that's supposed to be pushed in every video and that's the rush but afterwards there's no more mention on a fragrance that kind of is sad so i buy a fragrance even if a new fragrance you know i buy it if i like it i review it and i still use it you see aquadigi absolute who what talks about it these days i wore heck of it okay i really like this fragrance i uh, didn't get so much love in the community part of it, but i like it and it's it's beautiful it's like great sweet semi-sweet semi-fresh kind of fragrance so i buy things that i like to my nose and even if i review something that I might review this in a bit, like in a few days. Hanemore HM, okay? This is an older kind of fragrance, okay? So no one is talking about this, but I do. Uh, whatever piques my interest, I bring it and talk about it. So people will have their reactions, right? And uh, they will like different things. I do a lot more women's perfumes than many other male reviewers, but I do them so it will help some, at least 300 people out there, right? To look at, look at a fragrance, you know? For example, I have two samples. I know some of you hate sample reviews, but what can I do? <laughs> uh, this is Gucci Bloom, Aqua Di Fiori, and this is Poison Girl Unexpected. These two <clears throat> awesome fragrances. And uh, as I showed you also just now, Pure Excess, great fragrances. So I have done these, you know, uh, sample reviews. I'm pretty happy about it because 
it helps people okay talking about a fragrance so that's pretty much uh, the whole uh, thing for me as long as you have a craving and you want to go out there run around here and there try to get a sample I ordered three samples yesterday Tom Ford ombre leather ombre leather I ordered um, Bulgari is uh, the new one Bulgari uh, the wood essence the green bottle as well as I think uh, there was one more I cannot remember at this point but all three fragrances I do not own so I'm excited to try them you know the samples make me as excited as a full bottle you know <coughs> another thing is I like collecting bottles you know like bottle designs also are important to me so you know sometimes I see a nice attractive bottle design it just catches my eye and I end up buying it and then I try to understand the juice separately so I have this thing for both bottle designs as well as the fragrance and uh, when people tell me joy you you have to try you know like when you understand I understand when people say you have to try these fragrances from niche houses you know I definitely try to look for them but when people try to impose you know you know nothing uh, this fragrance absolute trash you know it makes me a little bit that's why I do not read all the comments these days also like for me, I love the House of Mansara. Some people call it trash. It's okay. You know, I understand that they like much more expensive fragrances. I know a lot of people who like to think you spend more money. That's how you buy great fragrances and that's how you earn respect. I don't want to earn respect like that. I'm so sorry. I would buy a $20 cologne. I would buy fragrances from House of Azaro. I would rather buy these and be happy to be wearing it. You know, like something that's quality. I'm not saying putting down niche fragrances, but... To me, it's not about the money, it's about the quality of fragrance. And if you can afford it, great. If you can't afford it, be honest about it. I, I told in my video, I cannot afford so many Roja Dove or... Uh, that's kid, that's a kid singing, happy kids in the weekend. <laughs> I'm, I said yesterday, like, your job or something. I just started, you know, getting the taste for it. And I want to grow it naturally. I don't want to, like, follow the pattern. Oh, my God, look at the reviewers. They're talking about Memo House, you know. They're talking about zoologist those are very expensive fragrances, and i'd love to try them like sample them first or get a bottle but you know i'm not so rich and i'm not sponsored i'm not getting anything free you know so it takes time if i can get in time if i'm lucky i will do reviews you know it will be my pleasure but i don't like people trying to impose on me what i have to like and what i have to dislike okay and what is trash or what is good i'd like to try it out to my nose you know like fragrances cheaper fragrances frank olivier would touch this one this I love. I love this fragrance. It's kind of synthetic, cheap, but it gives me feel of that oud of, uh, I think, uh, oud ispan by Dior. <laughs> so, if I can find oud ispan by Dior, I'll buy it. But for the time being, that is doing for me, right? So, few things like that. <clears throat> and last thing before I finish, I wanted to talk about it. I said it before, you know, like, it's not about a race, you know. You can run the race the best way possible. You can try to buy all the fragrance in the world, but it will never be possible. Even if you have all the money, if let's say you have 10,000 fragrance, how many are you gonna use? You know, it's not practical even. So thing is, do not try to run a race. It's not a marathon. It's not like a like a race, you know, like you're gonna win. No one's gonna win, win, like win here or lose here. So thing is, do not try to think, you know, I'm running, I'm falling behind the game. Take it as it comes whatever you can afford or shortlist what you want to buy if you b end up buying something that people like but you do not like i don't see the whole point of it right and uh, try to get samples before buying a full bottle in that way you can try 10 different fragrances and you know which one exactly worked with you your skin chemistry which one gave you compliments which ones you liked your nose and you think like you'd like to use that on a regular basis so you need a lot more juice than two to five ml right just saying so in that way you can save a lot of money and uh, i am telling you about this like i cannot afford a lot of reviewers you'll see they have all the niche every single fragrance roja dub the whole collection mfk whole collection if i could get it would be great but i can at least appreciate that you know i'm trying to test them right so do not follow the hype like oh he bought 20 like 200 dollar worth of fragrance i have to get it too just to get approval do not do that okay because it's not worth it and one point you'll feel i have seen one last example <clears throat> yesterday or day before yesterday one guy messaged me he's like brother i'm extremely sorry he's one of my very good uh, mates and group mate for about two years now and he messaged me like yesterday brother i'm so sorry i'm gonna quit your group 
And do you know why? Because he got tired of the fragrance game. Because he's running it so fast, okay? He's like running the race so fast. He bought so many fragrances, wasted a lot of money. And he has a family, you know what I mean? So you feel pressurized. So if that's what you've been doing, at some point you're gonna get tired and like, no, this is not doing it for me. So keep the passion and the hobby. Uh, practical yes there's always gonna be craziness I buy my bottles like crazy I buy every day almost one fragrance at times you know uh, whatever money I make from my page I invest in bottles I never save so it's hard that I'm telling you this but try to understand this you know buy stuff that you really really want okay and uh, see which one is your type if you are pressurizing yourself to do something right like a fragrance game in a way that everybody is doing so you have to do it at one point you'll feel tired and you will lose this love for this game so uh, keep your love up and only play the game you know like see the review you don't have to buy everything to enjoy a game and uh, you don't have to see like a review the reviews are here to just provide information I'm not telling you go and buy this I'm not selling anything like a full bottle like if I talk about Godolphin I love so much I'm saying it because I love it so much after a long struggle I bought this perfume right and it's giving me the vibes of Tuscan leather. I sacrifice a lot of other things to buy my fragrances. So yes, it's provide information. You know, it's not that I'm telling you just go and buy Godolphin right now, right? So keep it in mind, right? You are not obliged to buy, right? So play the game in such a way you can, uh, how to say, uh, not accumulate. It's like a, what the word I'm trying to think. Um, so you can, never mind. Play the game in such a way that you can actually afford it, one thing. Second thing is you're playing it from your own will, not by force. Third of all, enjoy using a fragrance. Do not just buy as like pieces to keep in your shelf, right? Everybody have a nice weekend, nice day, and uh, have a very nice day from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.